Hello, this is the Provoke Prawn, and this is a video on Logitech Stream Cam and how to use two of them to make your stream more interesting. I've done an unboxing video recently and review on the Logitech Stream Cam, and the highlights of this camera include the ability to mount it in both landscape and portrait modes, and that means you can potentially use two or more of these cameras to make your stream that little bit more interesting. Now, it is worth noting that is a USB-C camera so you do need two USB-C ports on your PC in order to do this however you can theoretically use older Logitech webcams to achieve the same results or similar results. I'm going to show you how to set the camera up and how to get it up in OBS to get it working and both of them running together and various other bits. I want to show you the highlights to this camera as well that include this funky little base that is adjustable in a variety of ways hooks over the top of your monitor and can be adjusted to ensure it sits in a nice place. One thing you will note is that it is also swivel-tastic, so you can turn and bend the camera in various different ways to get it in the right position to capture interesting footage and create a really cool view for your watchers. And that one of those things is a little tripod mount that basically has a similar thread to what you'd find on normal camera tripods so you can then screw that in and attach it to a tripod if you happen to have one laying around another alternative I'll show you in a minute now here you can see I've got two stream cams set up one on one monitor and one at a slightly different angle on a different monitor and I put that into OBS to then let me set the cameras up to create an interesting view. I did this for a recent stream and it might look a bit crazy but I wanted to experiment around with what it was like to have two cameras going and I'll show you how to do this in the software in a minute but there are other potential uses. As I said you have a standard mount and I've got a little cheap Gorillapod knockoff tripod here that I then screwed the camera to and you will note this second camera is actually in portrait mode so it has the sort of square styling to it that you can use on Instagram and Facebook and other social platforms we haven't got the standard 16 by 9 display and here you can see I've set it up to have a view of my keyboard so you can potentially make things interesting by letting people see your hands now in OBS studio click to add a new source and a video capture device and then find the Logitech stream cam. I've set this one up as the left cam because it's on my left hand side but I've actually put it in OBS on the right but you can see that you can adjust the size of it really easily and set it up the way you want it and then for the other camera do the same and select the other one. It's worth noting that if it doesn't work for you for some reason it's worth clicking the deactivate and activate button and then it will put it, bring it back to life. You can also unplug and replug it in again. There are other issues that you might have if you've got it in a different scene as well. So I'll talk to you a bit more about that. One of the things you can do is you can right click and click transform and then you can see you can crop out the borders. So on the portrait mode it had those black borders down the side and you can crop and resize that by just putting adjusting the numbers and now I use 150 on left and right to get rid of the black borders but you can obviously click to transform and change it in a variety of other ways. Another thing you can do is you can go in here and you can click camera controls and configure video. You'll see here some of these options are actually greyed out and they don't work. Now the reason for that is I have the camera set up in my other scene so you see the green screen scene above on the left hand side at the bottom because I have the camera set up in there as well that means I then can't configure the video options in this new scene so it's worth bearing that in mind if you have the cameras set up in multiple scenes you might have problems tweaking things like the zoom and the pan and all those other functionality within the video settings so that's worth knowing also it's worth ticking that deactivate when not showing box and then that'll stop any other issues you might have between scenes which is a very useful mini tip and well worth knowing. So you can see here I've got the two cameras side by side and I've also got a green screen behind me so what I'm going to do now is you click on the camera right click click add filters and then we want to click the plus button and click chroma key and then that adds in 
a transparent background so now you can see the image behind me it's worth noting those prawns are just there as a placeholder obviously you'll be using whatever you plan as your background perhaps a game would be my go-to so I'll have a game in the background I'll show you that in a second a bit later on and uh, you can then adjust the cameras if you want to add both and put the chroma key on both of them you can do that tw t turn the camera slightly pan it zoom in a bit more and get that adjustment so that you've then got a transparent background on both you will also notice there's a difference between these two cameras and the way they're set up because the colors are different so you can go in and change the brightness and contrast and things like that now here you can see uh, the second mode where I put the camera on the small tripod and I put it next to my keyboard that obviously gives it a different view and maybe keeps things a bit more interesting and you can resize both of these really easily by just dragging them around and shrinking them as you would a normal window again you'll see you've got a lot of space going on here I've got a lot of my keyboard that I'm not going to really be using so what you can do is right click on that again and then click to transform so first of all reposition the camera into a place where it has the best view and then you're clicking in there to click on transform and you can see C night and transform and then just go through and change the crop so crop left crop right crop top and crop bottom I've already cropped the left and right to get rid of the black bars to 150 and then I just tweaked it down to 120 to shrink that down a bit more and crop it around just WASD the keys that I'm going to be using for the most part when playing the games and then you have an optimized view that people can witness your face as you react to the games but also see what's going on the final one is to just add in the game capture and I put it here to capture any full screen game and then that's at the top and then that will overlay and stop you from seeing the uh, prawns in the background and just using that as a temporary placeholder so you're not just seeing black and here's what the finished product looks like still with the prawns rather than game but it gives you an idea of what it looks like and you can obviously play around with that and tweak it to your heart's content hope you found this video useful be sure to check out my stream to see these in action on friday and saturday thanks for watching this has been the Provoke Prawn. Hope you found this video useful, interesting, or hilarious. Be sure to subscribe and check out these other videos, as well as taking a look in the description for links and Enver information you might find useful. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions or anything you'd like to see extra about this. And have a great life.